Bethesda's conference was weird. They kept trying to get the audience to clap and to cheer. They actually went more than 12 minutes before they showed their first game trailer between their opening, this is Bethesda, and then having the person come out on stage and play a song prior to talking about Rage 2. Then they went into some Rage 2 coverage. Based on what I saw, I don't think it's for me. The game looks very gory, and I'm really not into games that look gross, so I probably won't play it. Afterwards, they talked about Rage 2. They went on to talk about Elder Scrolls Legend and how it's coming to Switch, which is fairly obvious. Like, the Switch is selling like hotcakes, so... It would be kind of ridiculous not to port a card game to that tablet-like device that people are buying like crazy. It just makes sense that they would do that. And then they talked about Elder Scrolls Online and the Somerset Isle expansion and then gave a trailer for the Black Marsh expansion that's supposed to be coming out in the future. As someone who doesn't play a whole lot of MMOs, that doesn't affect me a whole lot. Though it's cool that they're actually exploring the Black Marsh in a video game. Maybe they'll get around to making an Elder Scrolls game that's a single player experience that I can mod that features that location sometime in the near future, but they probably will. Then after that, they they came out and said that they were working on a Doom game called Doom Eternal, uh, and then they said that they can't tell us anything about it because it's supposed to be a surprise for QuakeCon, which kind of begs the question, why do you even mention it then? Like, I guess they just wanted to try to drum up anticipation for QuakeCon by being all like, oh yeah, that's when we're going to find out about Doom. But I think that's kind of sad that, you know what will really drive up excitement for our Quake game? Let's tell them that we'll tell them something cool about Doom at the convention for Quake. That way they'll come to the Quake convention so they can find out about Doom rather than Quake. So I thought that was kind of lame. Then they said that you could get into the uh, Quake Champions game this week for free. It's still not out yet. It's uh, early access, but if you get into the early access this week, you get to keep the game uh, even when it comes out for real. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know how much demand there actually is for Quake Champions, but... You know, if you're at all interested, it might be worth picking it up while it's free. Then they came out, talked about Prey, said that, you know, they're happy with how Prey did, and they're giving Prey basically some more DLC. It's getting some new updates uh, that will add new game modes. Then they had a short trailer for the new Wolfenstein game they're working on, which is Wolfenstein Youngblood. They mentioned that Youngblood will be a co-op experience. If you want to play with a friend, you can. That's pretty cool. I, I like games that have that functionality. I'm hoping it's couch co-op and not like over the internet co-op because I prefer being able to play in the same room as my friend rather than be like, okay, let's go play this game. You need to drive home where you've got your own internet connection so that we can join up in this session. Uh, <laughs> then they announced that Prey uh, would be getting a... VR support, and they were in development for a Wolfenstein VR project. After that, they had a really funny joke video about the Skyrim Very Special Edition, which was just the best. Skyrim and life become one. A mud crab scuttles towards First you. Roda. I didn't catch that. First Roda. I didn't quite catch that. First Roda. It's such a dumb idea. But it's a really funny video. After that, they showed us the exact same trailer for Fallout 76 that they showed us during the Microsoft conference, which really begs the question, why did you show me that trailer at the Microsoft conference if you're just going to show it to me again a couple hours later at your own conference? And then they went on to have more trailers and more footage and talk more about Fallout 76, which begs the question, okay, if you have all this extra footage and it's okay that Microsoft aired that trailer, why did you re-air the trailer? Just just have Microsoft have the one trailer and then show me these other trailers during your convention. Don't I don't need to see the same trailer twice. So that was a little bit weird. Uh, Fallout 76 is apparently a game where you try to rebuild America by nuking it, which sounds counterproductive and stupid, which I guess would explain why they weren't able to rebuild America in the freaking several years in the since event, they came out and when all of the other own. games take place. Because you would think, oh, this is a base-building game. We'll rebuild America proper and then 
that kind of destroys the entire storyline of, you know, Fallout 3, where it's 200 years later and everything's still in shambles. So that's obviously a quest in futility. You're not going to rebuild America. Then they talked about what is probably the most polished looking, high quality AAA style mobile game I've ever seen. Uh, Elder Scrolls Blades looks really promising. They said I would be able to get into, like, pre-purchase it type thing, but I, I can't find it on the App Store as of yet, so I think they messed up when they said that. Or else you need to visit some website and get a specific link to follow or something. I don't know. I still need to look into that some more. Uh, I definitely want to pick that game up. They said the game was free, which concerns me a bit given how high quality the game looks like that that game is obviously not free to make they spent some really big developer dollars making that game uh so what i think is actually going to happen is they are going to be selling selling stuff you can buy for your town since it has the town building system uh, that way they can say they're not selling power. But then at the same time, since you can ha invite your friends to your town, it'll create like a social pressure to try to have the coolest town amongst your peer group, uh, which, you know, should drive up sales for them. So the base game would be free, but then it'll have microtransactions. This is the way that mobile games usually work. So I suspect that's probably what's going to happen with that game. But it looks really good. Uh, I was kind of hoping that they'd just be all like, yeah, it's a AAA game for mobile. It's 40 bucks. But they didn't have the nerve to say that. So, you know, whatever. And then after that, they decided to give us a, just a couple of teasers for two other games. Uh, Starfield and Elder Scrolls VI. But they didn't reveal the location name for Elder Scrolls VI. They just called it Elder Scrolls VI. So it didn't really tell us anything. Other than looking at the footage from the trailer, you might be able to guess geographically where in Tamriel it takes place based off what you see. But like Starfield, there was just nothing there. It showed a satellite and that was it. So we don't really know anything about those games. Uh, and that was the Bethesda conference. It was kind of weird because they, they really wanted people to clap and they really wanted applause and they undermined their own presentation by taking the biggest, the biggest reveal, like, the one thing everybody was going to be looking forward to in Fallout 76 and then putting it in Microsoft conference and then re-showing that same trailer at their own conference. When I came in after having seen Microsoft's conference just a couple hours prior, I was all like, oh, yay, I'll get to find out more about Fallout. And then they showed me the same trailer and I was like, oh, man to watch this trailer again and it was like exactly the same it wasn't an extended cut of the trailer or anything it was exactly the same trailer uh so that was dumb they should have not aired that trailer twice uh, they had enough content for fallout that they could have talked about it without showing that trailer and like the whole first half of the presentation there was not like a whole lot there like rage 2 is a game that's coming out in 2019 so that's that's a game uh, but Elder Scrolls Legend is already out, and they're just announcing that it was getting ported. Elder Scrolls Online is already out, and they were just announcing that there's updates coming. Doom Eternal is a new game, but they didn't tell us anything about it. Uh, Quake Champions isn't out, and I don't think they have a release date for it. It's kind of cool that you can get in for free, but, you know, it's an early access thing. Prey is already out. Uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood is a new game, so that's two new games. Fallout 76 is a third new game, and then Elder Scrolls Blades is a fourth new game. So they had four games that they actually could have talked about, of which they only talked about three of them. So I think that was a bit of a missed opportunity, and you know, maybe they should have focused more on what they actually had. But overall, it was over an hour long, and there wasn't a whole lot there. So that was kind of a disappointing conference, though I did appreciate the Skyrim Very Special Edition joke. That was funny, and Elder Scrolls Blade looks interesting. I definitely plan to check that out. And that was the Bethesda conference. So I will see you all for the Square Enix conference.